Hello everyone, welcome to IZ Ganit. My name is Samir Sardana and I'm going to start this series of 15 golden rules of geometry. This series will help you. All the students who are preparing for all MBA entrance exams like CAT, GMAT and uh, uh, SNAP, IFT as well as students preparing for government job exams like SSC, CGL, IBPS, PO and uh, IPMAT. Guys, uh, like uh, this series, I'm also going to start a special series for arithmetic as well as for algebra. Now, the idea behind this series of 50 golden rules of geometry is that we are going to do 50 properties, right, uh, or theorems in geometry, which are very, very unique properties and important one that can help you in covering very, very important concepts and questions which are relevant for all these exams. So here in this first video, I'm going to discuss with all of you a question which can be solved with uh, MPG, that's Mass Point Geometry Theorem. I'll first explain you the basic concept of Mass Point Geometry Theorem and we'll see how you can apply that concept of Mass Point Geometry Theorem in this particular question. A very, very important and beautiful question and you, we will also be using some rules of area of triangle uh, to handle this question guys. Let's have a look at it. It says that in the given figure area of triangle BG is 60. So we have this triangle ABC, this triangle area is 60. The area of triangle GFC is 40, this area is 80 and we are supposed to find out the area of the whole triangle ABC. Now I can clearly see that if I just find out the area of this quadrilateral, I'll be able to find out the area of this complete triangle. Now first let's talk about the concept that is required to that, that is required to answer this question. One is MPG. So with this video, you'll be able to understand mass point geometry theorem also and a very beautiful property of area of triangle also. So we are going to first understand these two rules and then we will solve the question. You will be able to solve it very easily if you understand these two. Look at here guys, look, look here. See that, what does MPG theorem says? MPG theorem says that if I have a road here, right, and two weights are placed on both ends of this road. Let's say the weight on this side is M1 and the weight on this side is let's say M2. Then, then let's say this is the point at which I'm holding the road. Let's say this is the point at which I'm holding, at which I'm holding the road. So to balance this, the length of this point at which I'm holding this road, let's say if this length is x here and if this length is let's say y here, then the mass point geometry theorem says that multiplication of m1 into x should be equal to m2 into y. Or you can say that ratio of mass or weight that you have at, that you have at these two end should be inverse of the length of this point at which you are holding the road uh, uh, from these two weights, right? So this is inversely proportion. M1 upon M2 is equal to Y upon X. This weight and this weight, the ratio of this weight and this weight should be same as, should be same as ratio of this length to this length, right? That's mass point geometry theorem. And also keep this in mind, at this point at which you are holding this, the weight at this point will be m1 plus m2. Now, to help you understand this, let me give you a basic example. If I say that the total weight here is let's say 40 and let's say the weight here is 60. Now you see that the ratio of the weight is 2 ratio 3. So the point at which you are supposed to hold the road to balance it should be inversely proportioned to this weight that means this weight ratio will come here, this weight ratio will come here. That means x ratio y should be 3 ratio 2. That means the point at which you are holding the road should be closer to this weight compared to this weight. Right? Because 3 you can see in terms of length is more as compared to the length of 2. That's a basic mass point geometry theorem and what's the weight at this point m1 plus m2 would be 40 plus 60 that means 100. Let me give you another way to understand this guys. Uh, if I say that look here if I say this this is a road right 
hand and I'm saying that the total weight at this point, let's say is 60, right? And uh, this length is in the ratio of 3 ratio 2, right? So what if I if I want to ask you what is a weight that is assigned here and what is a weight that is assigned here? So we, we know that this ratio is inversely proportioned to this weight. So what I will do is I'll simply divide the total weight of 60 in the ratio of 3 ratio 2. Total weight is 5 here. If I make it 60, which is 12 times of it, 3 into 12 will become 36, 2 into 12 will become 24. And because it is inversely proportioned, so the weight here is supposed to be 24 and the weight here should be equal to 36. And now you can cross check it. M1 into X, 24 into 3 should be equal to M2 into Y, that is 36 into 2. That's your basic mass point geometry theorem that you're supposed to know, right? I'll be making a separate video also for you guys where you can learn the complete concept of mass point geometry. For this particular question, this is the basic knowledge of MPG that you're supposed to know, right? Other than this, other than this rule, what I want all of you to know is the basic rule of area of triangle. And what is that rule? That rule says that if if I have two triangle made on the same base, on the same straight line, let's say I have these two triangle ABD and DAC. If I have a triangle ABD and ADC. Now, now you see that if I want you to find out the ratio of the area of this triangle and this triangle, you see that both of these two triangle are made on the same base, right? Right? If this is a base one and this is a base two, you see that the vertex of this triangle and this triangle is same as A. Both of these two triangles have the same vertex. If they have the same vertex, their height will be same. So if I ask you to find out the area of this triangle, the area of this triangle will be half into B1 into height. And what is the height? Height is a perpendicular distance from the vertex to the base on it, right? Now this is the height H which is of triangle ABD as well as of triangle ADC. What's the area of triangle ADC? Area of triangle ADC is half into base B2 into height H. H, H get cancelled. So see that these two triangle will have the base ratio as B1 ratio B2, right? So if two triangles or three triangles or four triangles are made on a same straight line and they have a same vertex, then the ratio of the area will depend on the base and because the height of all of these triangles are same. These are the two rules that I want all of you to know. Now let's understand, let's understand how to use, use these two concepts in this particular question. We have triangle ABC, right? This is point B, this, this is C, right? Okay, look here guys, look here. Look at this triangle now, right? BG to GF, the area, look at this triangle guys. Both of these two triangles have the same vertex C, as you can see that, right? BG and GF. Triangle made on the side BG and GF have the same vertex C. So the ratio of these two, ratio of these two areas will tell me the ratio of these two base. What is the area ratio? It is 2 ratio 1. Right? So can I say the length of BG ratio GF is 2 ratio 1? Yes. If I, if you look at these two triangles, look at these two triangles, both of them have the same base B. So the ratio of the area of these two triangles would be same as the ratio of the base. What is the ratio of the area? It is 3 ratio 4. It is 3 ratio 4. So that means these two sides will be in the ratio of 3 ratio 4, right? Now look at this point here, which is a G point, point of intersection. Now you see that. Now, now use a mass point geometry theorem here to answer the question. How can we use MPG here? See that guys, this road and this road or you can say the length uh, sides are intersecting at this point g i know this ratio 2 ratio 1 and i know this ratio 3 ratio 4 right now just assume a weight at this point which you can divide in the ratio of 2 ratio 1 as well as you can divide in the ratio of 3 ratio 4 that means you need a number which is a multiple of 3 as well as of 7 is it compulsory to take a number which is a multiple of 3 as well as 7? No. You can take any number that you want. Just to reduce our calculation part, I need to decide a weight at this point because this is the point at which, at which I am holding this road as well as this is the point at which I am holding this whole road. 
So I need a dist I need a weight here which can be divided in the ratio of 2 ratio 1 as well as in the ratio of 3 ratio 4. That means a number which is a multiple of 3 and 7. So let's take this number to be 21. Let's say a weight of 21 is assigned to this point at which I'm holding both of these two roads. Now when you divide 21 in the ratio of 3 ratio 4, total weight is 7, 7, 21, 3 times. This will come 9, this will come 12. If I want to apply the mass fine geometry theorem, the weight here multiplied by this should be same as weight here multiplied by this. And because they are inversely proportional, so I need to take a weight of 12 here and I need to take a weight of 9 here. Now you see that 9 into 436, 12 into 336. Mass point geometry theorem. Now you can apply. Similarly, 21 is supposed to be divided in the ratio of 2 ratio 1, 2 ratio 1. Total weight is 3. And if I take the total weight as 21, 7 times, this will be 14, this will be 7. Now, I need to assign a weight of 7 to the side 2, right? Add 7 here, take 7 here and 14 here. Is it clear now? Now, the question is very simple. You see that this is 12, this is 7. This is a total weight at the point A and the point B because this is a point where you are holding the road, total weight is 12 and on this side the weight is 7 to balance it. I need to take a weight of 5 here. This is a total weight of 14 and you can see that 5 plus 9 automatically is coming out to be 14. But now you see that the finding out the weight here can tell us the side ratio of these two. You see that this is 5, this is 7. So can I say the side length ratio would be 5 ratio 7? Got it? And you see that this is weight 5, this is 9. So can I say these side length ratio will be 9 ratio 5? Okay. Now this is done. What I need is this area now. What I can do is can I join A with G? Can I join the line A with G? Yes, I can join, right? If you join the line A with G, guys, right? If you join the line A with G, let me show you the same color. If I join the line a with G, yes. Let's, if I join the line A with G here, now you see that guys. Now again apply that area of triangle concept made on the same base. You see that this triangle, this triangle have the same vertex G. So the area ratio will be the base, so the base ratio will be the area ratio. So on a base of 5, I have an area of 60. So on a base of 7, on a base of 7, I will have an area of 5 into 60, 12 times 7 into 12 times 84. Got it? Similarly here, on a base of 5, you have an area of 40, which is 8 times. On the base of 9, you will have an area which is 8 times, that is 72. That's it. The question is solved. What will be the answer? The total triangle area, 60, 40, 100, 180, 180 plus 84 and 72, 4 plus 2, 6, 8 plus 7, 1, 15. So, examiner might ask you to find out this area, right? This is 156. Add them up. This is the correct answer of the question, guys. 336 is the area of triangle ABC. That's the answer, right? Similar to this, I will be uploading these short videos where 50 such rules of geometry will be discussed. This will help you for all exams like SSC CGL mains, CAT MBA entrance exam, right? And all other upcoming exams which require geometry, right? And in SSC CGL, geometry is a very important area. CAT geometry is a very important area. ZAT geometry is very, very important. So for all MBA entrance exams, as well as for all government entrance exams, the series will be very, very helpful. It's the first part of this series. And similar to that, there'll be 50 upcoming videos only on geometry rules with 50 golden rules of geometry. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next part. Thank you.